Hey guys, Tech here with the video for you guys. In today's video, we're going to show you guys how to fix this common issue that every iPhone user encounters. We encountered it recently and decided it's time to make a video so that you guys are aware of. If you guys didn't have this issue, expect that this issue will come up sometime in your usage of iPhone and it happens to everyone and it seems to be just one of those issues that are, has a really quick fix if it's not something that's hardware related or internal issues that can't be fixed but it seems to be an easy fix and we wanted to make this video so it's simple for you guys if you ever do encounter it it will be kind of there for you and you'll be able to see this video so what happens with the boot loop issue is that when you update the phone or make any changes or something's happening maybe it died unexpectedly or it might have encountered some software glitch that caused it to be in this issue where you see the Apple logo there it goes to the Apple logo and then it turns off or stays on the Apple logo so it's kind of stuck there and it doesn't go past to the home screen and you're wondering okay what's going on here well this is a common issue that is software related for the most part so to fix this what are you gonna do on an iPhone 8 or newer so iPhone 8 iPhone 10, 11, 12, 13, or even the newer phones when it comes out, it's gonna be really straightforward. You're gonna do what's known as a hard reboot that allows the phone to restart it. So it's gonna be forcing it to restart again. Now this method will not delete anything on your phone. This is just the force restart of your iPhone. And on iPhone 13 here, we're gonna demo it, but this will work on iPhone 8 and above. And then we'll show you on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus and six and older because they're slightly different. So on a newer phone, what are you gonna do is press and release the volume up button here and then the volume down button here, press and release it and then hold this side button until the phone reboots. So to do that, it's gonna be volume up, volume down and then you're gonna hold the side button. Now hold the side button and don't do anything where you don't want to slide to power off. You're just simply gonna wait until you see the Apple logo, it goes black and then see the Apple logo one more time. And once you see that, let go. And now we have done what's known as a force restart or a force reboot. And this will clear up any issue that it was causing if it was having sort of boot loop issue or just stuck on the Apple logo. And you get to the home screen and hopefully that solved your problem. Now that's on an iPhone 8 or above. Now let's say you have an iPhone 7 or a 7 Plus. Slightly different here on iPhone 7 and 7 Plus. To do that, you're gonna want to do is simply hold the volume down button and the power button right here on this side. So you're gonna hold these two buttons at the same time. And when you hold these two buttons at the same time, as you see, it'll go black and then once the Apple logo appears again we're gonna let go this time now it's doing the process and hopefully it will get back to the home screen and you will not see that issue and we'll be fine with it so that's an iPhone 7 or 7 plus now let's say you had iPhone 6 6s or older phone what do you do in that case well for that case you're gonna want to do is hold the home button and the and the power button at the same time. So this time it's gonna be that side button and home button. We're gonna simultaneously hold this at the same time till we see the Apple logo appear and let go. And again, we're gonna let it finish its process. Again, generally takes about five to 10 seconds and we'll be back to the main screen. Now let's say this didn't solve your issue. And what can you do if this didn't solve your issue? First thing you wanna do is make sure you let the phone fully charge. Generally, it could be just a charging issue where you haven't let the phone charge and it died down and the battery's completely drained. Let it charge for a good half an hour or so. And after you have charged it for half an hour or so, the next thing you want to do is go ahead and get onto a computer and use your iTunes or Finder app if you're near MacBook and hook it up there and connect it and try to update it through there. So to update it through there, you're gonna go through what's known as a up software update, which again, we'll explain in another video, but simply if you don't know how that works, you'll see it in that video. That's a little bit more intense. And of course, if none of those methods work, it's probably time to get it checked out. 
by an Apple certified technician because it could be actually some sort of hardware issue which requires you to do more in-depth analysis and diagnostic. So hopefully this video is helpful and if this video is helpful please make sure that like and subscribe button. Thanks for watching guys. See you guys next time.